This is part 284C, 3K4, line 22, F1, FA, 19C, 3K4, hydrogen storage, NAAIH4, nobium fluoride, carbon nanotubes, 5G, well, Sevi. I think I have a typo there. Let me double check here. No? That's what it got. The other video has an NAIH4. Oh, oh, maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Okay, sorry. There's the wild alien radio signal. There's the numbers that bring up the data. August 27, 2012. My thoughts. There was so much data about hydrogen storage that I split it into four videos. Of course, it's more videos than four. So, actually, I'm going to change that. Into more. We'll just change it to more videos. More videos. There we go. Line 22F, 1FA, 19C3, 3K1 to 4 is about hydrogen storage so far. Okay. So August the 4th, 2012. Just so you know, um, there are more than four videos. Okay. Um, I'll just make it one to question mark. So when I put it on the blog, you'll just have to go through each of the videos to see which one it is. I tell you in each one anyways at the beginning. August the 4th, 2012 is when I was working on this data and today is the 27th. So quotes from the t PDF files are enhanced hydrogen storage properties of NaAlH4 co-catalyzed with no niobium fluoride and single walled carbon nanotubes. There's the scientist that worked on it. There's the PDF reference number. 2011, so this is a newer one. So I'm going to quote, the effects of single walled carbon nanotubes SWC and TS as a co-catalyst with NBF5 on the dehydrogenation and hydrogenation kinetics of NaAlH4 were investigated by x-ray diffraction. I'm not sure if it's an L or an I, so forgive me. Fortier transform infrared spectroscopy Differential thermal analysis, temperature program desorption, and isothermal hydrogen absorption techniques. It has been revealed that there is a synergetic effect of SWCNTs and NBF5 on the dehydrogenation of NaAlH4, which improves the hydrogen deabsorption performance when compared to adding either SWCNTs or NBF5 alone. For example, the apparent activation energy for the first step and the second step dehydrogenation of this co-doped NaAlH4 sample is estimated to be 85.9 and 96.2 kg mol1, respectively, using Kissinger's approach, which is lower than the pristine SWCNT and NBF5 doped NaAlH4, respectively, indicating a reduced kinetic barrier. These results are attributed to the active MB containing species and the function of F anions, as well as the nano sized pores and high specific surface areas of the SWCNTs, which facilitates the disassociation and recombination of hydrogen molecules in, on its surface, and the atomic hydrogen diffusion along the grain boundaries and inside the grains and decreases the segregation of bulk AL after the desorption. Hence, the combined catalytic mechanism is presented. So there's dehydrogenation dehydro and rehydrogenation. Okay. There's the graphs, and that's from pubs.rsc.org. There's the link there. Um, the next one is from Physics Rev B63, 2001. Effective hydrogen storage in single walled carbon nanotubes. Here's the scientists from China. The hydrogen storage behavior of single walled carbon nanotubes was studied using molecular dynamic simulations and AB initial electronic calculations. Hydrogen atoms with kinetic energy of 16 to 25 eV were observed to penetrate into and be trapped inside the tube. Consecutively injected H atoms form hydrogen molecules and gradually condense to become liquid hydrogen in the tube. The density of injected hydrogen in the tube and the pressure on the wall of the nanotube induced by the stored hydrogen molecules were evaluated at room temperature. 
and that's link.aps.org. That's where we found that, 2001. Um, you can email them at that address if you want to talk to them about it. Again, they do not know that they are in this video. Okay? PRB.APS.org. August 14, 2012, keywords in the data are hydrogen storage plus liquid argon gas. Um, neutrinos, alien fuel formulas, um, you have to go back to line 17, from line 17 to 22, they're in there. It'll say fuel up in the title if it's got a fuel formula. Carbon nanotubes plus NaAlH4 plus niobium fluoride. So I'm going to Google niobium fluoride to see what it is. And there's the graph of what it looks like. Quotes from Wiki, Nio niobium V-fluoride, also known as niobium pentafluoride, is a colorless crystalline solid, often used as a starting material in niobium chemistry. So you wanted the hydrogen to be a solid, so obviously this has something to do with it. Niobium pentafluoride is obtained as an intermediate during the recovery of niobium metal from its ores. It also can be prepared by direct fluorination of niobium's metal at 250 to 300 degrees Celsius, and your test went up to 600 degrees, either by fluorine glass or anhydrous hydrofluoric acid, you would use the fluorine gas. The pentafluoride vapors are condensed in a pyrex or quartz tube, or a nanotube in this case, from which it is sublimed at 120 degrees Celsius under vacuum and collected as colorless crystals. Also, niobium pentafluoride can be prepared by the reaction of fluorine with niobium pentachloride, and there's the calculation for it. Okay, so we'll go on to the next video.